fine. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're back with another video. This is Segi no Hiro, which to those of you over here will more likely know it as uh, Lethal Enforcers 3. So, um, I don't really know too much about this game. I have been told by some, you know, some of the light gun enthusiasts it's not, not really as much liked as a lot of the others. Um, let's just, actually for this one, since it's gonna go to the show, let's just unblock the screen. Mm -hmm. And like back access and everything that we need for now, leave the rest of the raft on. But uh, yeah, anyway, from what I've heard, it's not as popular as the others. I think the first one was themed in like feudal era Japan. Um, this one is is like a, a modern Japanese police force uh, theme. But we got offered this. It's, you know, it's not normally something we ask for or look for, but we got offered it and I uh, was happy to take it and you know, put it in our lineup and. You know, maybe at some point someone will might actually want it, but uh, for now, it, it helps to you know start rounding out our light gun lineup. So we've got the cab here, two CRTs inside down below. Uh, you can yeah, you can kind of see it on the camera. And back here, it's interesting. We've got this is how they um, how they attach the base stage. To the the guns yes this has a base stage it's a uh, it's konami <laughs> but uh it's pretty cool i already set out the locks to change in here i'm probably going to need to get more because there's a couple different um spots yeah there's there's definitely not enough let me see if i even let's see yeah i didn't even get these a couple of these are are two toothed i don't know that it'll matter but um it looks like there's three god there's a ton of locks look at this dude there are so many no look at this one yeah there's two, three, four, five, and that's just there, and then you've got the bucket lock. So there's five just on that. There's one here on the side for the PCB door. So that's six. This thing takes six locks. But uh, anyway, it's a neat looking cab. I never really, you know, I don't think I really ever saw these. This one's in, in good shape. No complaint there. This is for you. Ooh, this is your task. What is his quest? His quest is to unscrew. Quite normally the opposite of the quest of life. Um, I wonder, is it screwed in on the bottom too, or is it just bracketed? Let's see down here. Get this apart. Um, so it's got these wheels on the front that it rests on. I wonder if just unscrewing this lets you... Okay, yeah, it does. You actually probably were wanted to take these off. Yeah. Um, if anything. Well, actually, I think, I mean, you're gonna have to take off all of them anyway, yeah. but... So we get those off, and then it looks like this whole stage just lifts off of this, uh, this thing here. That's actually a really cool mounting method for transporting this. But uh, no, anyway, it's kind of cool that this has like a base shaker, basically. Let's let's take a look inside while, while they're getting at it. So yeah, definitely a connector down there. And uh, I'd assume, yeah, there's a base shaker down there. So this thing, it's actually like a really thick acrylic. It's not, um, it's not like wood or something like that. It's just a, a clear acrylic with a, is a, not even a sheet on top of it or something. So. Ooh. Anyway, so that just comes off, and then I would assume we take these wheels off, and then this can attach. So, I, we were talking about this earlier, about whether we would want to, you know, take the stage and attach it this way every time. Uh, and I think we do. It's a little bit of work, but compared to a lot of other cabs that we bring out, that, you know, that's a lot less work than... Uh, than others and it's still very cool. So yeah, we'll get those wheels off and then uh, roll this up and I'm sure we will run, let's see what we got in here first, run this, this little bundle of wires into this little bundle of joy. Um, inside we've got Seigi no Hero. Wonder if that's the IO board. And this is a sound, sound, I don't know. Whatever, there's some things in there. Some shit written on it, I'll look at it later, maybe. Um, wait, what, actually, is, uh, don't listen, so. 
and so that's probably guns that's gun sensor stuff in there um got some manuals i'm gonna go grab these and there should be still four wheels on this so it'll roll on its own without but we'll set those aside we're gonna have to pack this right back up again as long as this cab works got quite a big bundle of crap here um You got a quick flip through this manual, and we'll take a look inside the control panel after. So we've got our regular schematics and parts shit in here. Um, oh, there's the PCB. I'll go go back. I'm gonna kind of see what kind of PCB it has. It's got CD installer for a few things. Anyway, it's a manual. It's you know whatever. This looks like a reprinted one, unless uh, uh, reprinted and bound. And there's another manual here. It's a little torn. Oh, there's a header. I wonder if we get the header. And I'll do, look at all those happy police officers. Happy. Yeah, they're so happy. Oh, you know, this is the same thing. You know, uh, so I guess it's just an extra. No, this is, no, wait. This is I don't know. Whatever. There's two manuals. I've seen a lot of manuals. So I don't think there's anything in there. There to see right now. So this is, looks like it's two. So yeah, there is a reason for there to have the two tooth locks. I have a couple, so I'll go grab a couple when we change the locks for this later. What do we have here? Reaction unit adjustment tool. Okay, so reaction unit. What the fuck is a reaction unit? Also, gross. It's very gross. It's not any better. No. Also, gross. Did you drop these in there? Yes, I dropped them okay. in there. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, so yeah, I'll go grab two tooth locks for that. And I need one more lock on top of that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So yeah, something definitely spilled in here. Look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's probably not the cleanest thing on earth to be sniffing. Looks like it got, maybe got a little moldy at one point. But Is that's this supposed to have a coming. dial or some kind of diode that you can Uh, use? that looks like a headphone. No, what the what? fuck is that? It's supposed to be something. Maybe that's the reaction unit. What how is the that? Is. So it looks it like there's like supposed this. to be a wire that runs out of it, but what is that? This has a two pin connector plugged into the back. I wonder, hmm, maybe looking at the manual a little later might be good. I'm gonna pull this closer. Interesting either way. Yeah. Oh man, you should have seen the, well you will, see the inside of the Time Crisis 4? It's so Holy clean. Holy shit, it's like, it looks like it's never been used, but it obviously has been. Like, oh man, it's so clean. You know, this one, eh. yeah, we'll check the coin counter on this one. The most basic test and service panel you'll ever see. Coin counter is 28,023. And there's just a bracket inside that's probably for connecting the base or something. Okay, and I'll bet you anything these are N5000s because of the double tooth locks. Yep. It doesn't seem like they made any others that were. And the only ones I ever really see that, that have the, the two teeth are LY1153 and N5000. And then of course our standard does too, so. Anyway, I wonder what that is. I wonder what the reaction unit is and what that tool is for, but whatever. Got the guns here. Go ahead and flip this up. Come on. Un unclip. How do you... Uh, does it just pop? I'm gonna break it. Yeah, I think it just pops down. Pop and does the same thing, I think. Oh. Well, that's actually pretty decently spring-loaded. Cool. This is Just the base stage have a connector on it? Uh, yes, they have connectors on each side, it looks like. But, uh, usually should run down somewhere. But there are, there are cables inside, so. I don't know where this one goes. It's nice and long. Hmm. Hup! Ah! Nope, it is definitely not that. There is two or three connect two connectors. One is LED, one is base shaker. 
is a six pin and a four pin. And then on this side, this is just, nope, this is just, uh, there's, yeah, let's just hook it up and Okay, cool. That, surprisingly, is gonna stand on its own. Yeah, there's a four and a six. And they should run out the bottom of this. Let's see, what side is that? That should be this side. Hmm. Probably. Nope, I don't see anything down there on this side. We'll come back to it. We might hook up the base shaker last, but I'm gonna go plug the cab in. Vroom goes the cab. You must have hooked up the power because it came on. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think that goes on there. Let's see here. Yeah, it's powered in the front. We got one of the monitors is up. Where did it go? A bunch of the other monitors, monitors up. that are. Ooh, that's right. gonna need a DGOS. Windows! Woo! Yeah, this is Windows based. Yo, Kazo. But yeah, we're gonna We'll see if it works without it. DGOS. Oh, it will. Yeah, let me get in here and take a quick look. I can. We can rotate the guns. To, uh... You're good. I can get in here. I got it. Is that where it goes? Uh, it looks like it. I tried it, but the plastic um, seems like it's hitting the plastic. That is not where it goes. From what it looks like, at least. That's a fight. Oh, you know, it's a fight pin. Weird. <sighs> Yeah, it doesn't look like the right type of connector. Yeah, it's not. I'll just run without it for now. Oh, is it up here? Whatever, we'll come back to it. Um, base stage. So I would assume that if the base stage connector's on this side, uh, maybe something down in here. So, I don't know. We'll go without that for now too. We'll see what it does. So it's actually whoop, just booted up. Monitors aren't the brightest on earth, but uh these both sides are about the same. Oh. Ooh. Looks like press start button. No All right, you two. No <laughs> yeah, they seem to work, so. Uh, nickname. Dynamo. Dynamo. <laughs> so if I remember right, all the lethal enforcers are kind of like more mini game style. They're like mini stages it's or something. On free play. Yeah, it's on free play. So I go ahead. Maybe because the gun sensors aren't hooked up? No, no we, we saw Oh, that's true, yeah, you did. on this stuff we uh, opened up everything to take a look inside so we're gonna pass that on you can see here we took the back panel off to access the monitors uh, these do not appear to have a DGOS built into them so we're gonna have to take a coil inside them on the monitor at some point if we want to get that super clean 
Uh, looks like this one has a remote. This monitor has been changed out. You can actually see it's a it's a flat. This one's a, a curved tube. Um, it's running. The, uh, you can see the cable there is the probably the remote one to get that in front. This one doesn't. Or actually, this one's in the back. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of adjustment on that now. Um, this side looks fine, but I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. Um, let's see which ones we've got. RGB bright. Here we go. Let me know how this looks. Well, if I can even. I need to come back with an actual screwdriver. Is that doing anything? Or you can just not say anything. I needed your feedback. Oh, sorry. I can't hear you at yeah, all. Yeah, I... These speakers, these speakers are nice and loud. So no, what was it? Is, is anything changing on screen for you? Huh. Maybe. Let me double check and see if this one's actually plugged in. Because I was turning up brightness. This is... No, that's plugged into the monitor. Let me get a peek around the corner here. Yeah, that's plugged into the monitor. I don't know. Whatever. These, they, they look playable. It's just really bad with the glare. Um, anyway, there's... You can see this is where the PCB service door would normally be. If you're to open it there power supply right here. And this is like that old, like the, that first, well not first, but the more common of that era um, PC, base PCB for Konami. We'll get this dumped. I don't think anybody has it yet, but uh, be convenient to have that. Let's see, what else? So we're not going to, oh, I don't think we're going to open this up. This is just access to the back of the mirror. Uh, don't really need access to that. Um, let's see, so probably if we take this off, and get in there, we'll get to the monitor adjust for the other one, but I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, we found down here is the, the just like down there, this, this connector barely comes out of the bottom of that, and that hooks up the base stage. Um, and right here is where the dongles go, the plug dongles, for some reason. Um, they're, they're kind of front-facing. Like normally, it, you'd, I think you'd find them like in the back or something like that. It's weird. but uh, And we haven't, thus far, I don't think we've figured out what this is. I want to say, ah, yes, According right. to the manual. Right, so, okay, I forgot you had mentioned that. We didn't find any parts for that, did we? No. Just that it was gone, okay. So if that's a retractor, that just means that, that it, um, you know, probably attaches to this here, it attaches to the gun, goes inside there, and it's just, uh, you know, this. It does, it does this. Maybe, maybe a little bit slower. <laughs> But uh, anyway, looks like uh, someone has got us into test menu already because we want to calibrate the guns on this side. This side's kind of poo poo doo doo. So let's go ahead and go into um, IO check there. Uh, maybe just try and oh, get close. There trigger. We go. Triggered by the gun. Select item. Third one start execute. Okay. So this is input test. So we know those were good on both sides for the most part. Like they. They work. Yeah, they work quite well. But uh, what Player we really want to do and press. Okay. is gun check. Because this side the, this side seems fine. That side is a little bit worse. Um, that seems pretty good, huh? I mean, Danny was playing just fine on this side. Oh, absolutely. Like. Let's come on over here. And that... That's tracking pretty good. It too. is? Huh, maybe it was just the way we had it lined up. What, it felt like... Um, it felt like it kept going out of range. So if you point out of range, it um, or out of screen, it puts up the shield. Uh, it felt like it just kept doing that at random. So maybe it's just that like we need to actually I think it you needs know, to be line, we'll, we'll line everything up and, and do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can see also just real quick, I'd mentioned that this side needs to be degaussed. You can see that it actually, you know, the, the, the kind of blue there on that side, um, but and God, that's a nice monitor to be using in here. You can mm. you can even tell just from the look, like the curvature that you know, you know that's a flat and that's a that's a tube. Anyway, okay, I guess we'll let's just push this up and we'll uh, we'll try that with the game a little bit later. Go ahead, let's go through the rest of the test menu. Let's see what else there is. Lamp check. 
So there, yeah, the bo oh, I was, you know, I was actually wondering because this side wasn't lighting up when I was standing on it earlier, but yours was, which appears like it works, so. Mm -hmm. And we did, we did test uh, this earlier, the shaker definitely shakes. It's very, very nice. cool. Yeah. Uh, this, I think like other games, I think Time Crisis does it too, where like only the gun and like the speaking sounds come out of here. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the rest of the sounds come out of the rest of the, the speakers. But uh, let's go ahead and push this up and, uh, can you push this up? Oh, no, it's, that's my stop. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Wait, why is it, did it, it unplug out. itself? Yeah, it unplugged oh. itself. I was pushing too hard. So let me get this back in. Actually, you might have to do this. I can't exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll let you do it. Where is it? Forget it. Let's push I it. Let's it. push it together first. Yeah, okay. And then just go ahead. You you already unplugged it. Oh, I didn't plug it in. Oh. Here, just take this real quick, please. You said forget it. Uh -huh. I'll get it. This is just so short that it is. According to the manual, there should be enough slack on it. But well, the only slack that's on it is to like right there, you know? Uh -huh. Which, again, is enough slack, but... The manual has it all coming out all the way to there, which it cannot do. Yeah, no, it cannot. Okay. At any rate, maybe from here, the gameplay will be a little bit better. Is there anything else in Test Menu that looks interesting? Well, we're at this. Go ahead and... Okay. There's your color check, just like always. Heads Actually, up go back to color check. Oh, oh no, HCD do not. Yeah. Can I abort that? Yes, you can. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. <laughs> I'll wiggle the, here, you know what, go back. I'll wiggle the, the connectors on the motherboard. Ooh, that is actually pretty shitty. Let's, uh, give it a try now. Oh, huh. Oh, the VGA connector's loose, too. What the fuck is this giant button? That's new. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, oh, is it? The, oh, you know, maybe it's further back somewhere. So, no, this side. This is, try this amp. This cables. These cables just might be shitty. I'm pretty sure these cables just need to be replaced. Well, for the purposes of this, let's get it at least semi. Yeah, it's just a really shitty cable. We'll leave it at that for now. Right is coming through the left now. So yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's, no, I have it, I have it pulled out halfway. Okay. But anyway, we'll go through the rest of this real quick, and that just needs to be replaced. We'll make a note that to do that at some point. Yeah, all the sounds are kind of weird right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go back to color check. Well, oh, actually, okay, yeah, sure. life... Life has been I changed. Yep. Life is above Let's just normal. set it to default for now, which is three. Uh, the rest of that's probably fine for now. Vent mode. No demo. Huh. Get that up there. 
Yeah, go to that screen check again, or like the color check. Oh, right. Just to get a feel. Like, this one's a little bit lower, but both of them are working. I just, it's just the glare is so bad in a lit environment, you know? Mm -hmm. So, we'll, we'll see later. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, give gameplay a, t a test. Uh, see where, grab Danny. Hey, Danny! <laughs> Too cold out here. Yeah, well... It's kind of needed right now, so. What if I play both sides? <laughs> Okie doke. You need to be player two. Okay, with it pushed up, it's a lot more responsive now. Yeah. This feels good. Well, because, like, I don't know, he was able to select as well before. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, all the way up. But this one works much better. call it lethal enforcers 3 on the side here so um yeah that's actually kind of cool so over here the case of Khan. cool coasting i wonder if like these are just different different names like over time that they've had for it but anyway let's take a look at some of this cute like, side text <laughs> gun shooting gun actually vibrating platform you will actually get a shock at your feet 
the gun shooting game unfolded in an omnibus drama. That actually really kind of brings together the idea of what the game is supposed to be, which is really cool. Because um, I mean, that's what it is. It's basically like a like a police, I guess, like a police uh, novel or book or something, basically. In a, in a, Super cute game, I love this. That's uh, Lethal Enforcer 3 for you guys. This will be out at Level Up in a couple days. Um, or like four or five months before this video posts. But uh, yeah, um, we've got one more game I think to record before we, we finish loading up for the con. Uh, look forward to it. We'll uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.